Hello everybody, today is November 5th and I am one week out from my gastric sleeve uh, surgery. Um, for those of you who have not seen any of my prior videos, my name is Tony and I had the gastric sleeve on October 29th. Um, I came home uh, just one day after surgery. I did really well uh, in the recovery process inside the hospital. Um, I was able to get up, walk around. Um, I didn't have much pain. Um, I felt pretty good. Uh, honestly, the only pain that I really suffered with was the uh, the pain right right here uh, in the chest area, and um, that was from the uh, the gas and the air that they inject you with. Um, my surgeon did say it could be a little sore there because he had to lift my chest plate to do something. I'm not sure exactly what that was, but um, so that was pretty tender and sore for a couple days. But um, now here, one week out, that's pretty much gone. Uh, I get a couple little reenactments of the uh the gas that comes here and there but uh i just it passes pretty quick in the beginning it was pretty painful i had to hold my breath for a while to just kind of grin and bear it and see if it would get through uh and it would usually last you know 15 to 20 seconds and then it would kind of go away but um so yeah it was uh it was that was really the only discomfort i was wondering if i was going to be able to get up out of my chair by myself you know um if I was going to be able to, uh, you know, get in and out of bed. And all that was really pretty easy. The first couple nights I slept in my recliner because I thought it would just be better to sit upright. But uh, that got really uncomfortable after two days. And then I made my way uh, into my own bed and, and I slept so much better there that night. Um, I was a little concerned about, you know, laying or turning or flipping with my stitches and or uh, my, my wounds, you know, but um, it didn't cause a problem. I just left a shirt on so that I wouldn't snag it on anything, and uh, it seemed to uh, to be fine. So every day that gets a little bit better. Um, during the liquid phase, I found uh, something that really uh, worked well for me was um, this drink here called a it's a Isopure, and uh, I was able to purchase these. You can get them like on Amazon and everything, but I went to um, I went to GNC and picked them up. They had them right there. They can, uh, our GNC lets you mix and match the different flavors. There's quite a few different flavors and uh, they're pretty good. And each one of these has, uh, it has uh, 40 grams of, uh, of protein in, in each one of these. They're 20 ounces, so it takes a little while to get down, but it was a good start. Um, the other thing that I say that you, you must get and uh, are these little one ounce cups. Uh, you can get these little one ounce cups. These are gonna be uh, something that you know you use all the time uh, we're supposed to have one ounce of uh, liquids every 15 minutes um, so constantly using those constantly pouring stuff in trying to stay on on track we have a chart we have to fill out with the the hospital that I went through um, but that was you know not too hard um, for us day four we introduced the full liquid diet and that was uh, protein shakes, um, you know, some different types of things, um, different uh, cereals, not cereals, but uh, cream of wheat they let us do. I haven't tried that yet. I just kind of been doing the protein shake with the IsoPure and some Jello and just things like that. Um, been doing really, really well with all that. Uh, I didn't feel hungry at all and I'm, I'm still really not hungry. I can't say that I'm hungry, but uh, my kids did have some very good smelling dinner the other night, which finally, finally kind of put me into a, a phase where I felt like I was hungry and I'm sure it was head hunger more than, than anything else. Um, being here for a week, just kind of sitting around and recovering has been pretty hard for me because I'm pretty active, uh, believe it or not, and being a big guy, just because I'm, uh, you know, I stayed really active at work. I was very busy. Um, but uh, sitting around just kind of watching TV and stuff, you give you a lot of time to, to think. And I, I had a couple days there where, uh, you know, I was kind of having a little bit of a buyer's remorse, just trying to be honest. I kind of felt like, you know, what, what, what did I do to myself? Um, seemed like every commercial that came on uh, TV was some kind of an ad for some kind of food. And, um, you know, I kind of felt like, man, I'm never going to be able to have these things again. And uh, I was really kind of depressed, to be honest with you. Um, but my sister came and talked to me and really kind of inspired me again. Uh, she's a, a, an amazing warrior. She's been through breast cancer. And, you know, this is a journey. I'm not trying to say one's bigger or better or worse or whatever. But she is such a warrior. And she kind of gave me those words that I needed to, to kind of feel inspired. And to remind me why I went through this in the first place and to make this decision. Um, I had a mild heart attack about a year and a half ago, and uh, that's kind of what spurred me into getting back on track to doing this. So um, I wanted to be here for my children, 
I wanted to make sure that, uh, you know, they had someone here for them no matter what. And uh, what is it to trade some some food and some things that you thought were your happiness for the, the, the chance of being here for a lot more years to be with your kids, to walk your daughter down the aisle, to, to play baseball with your son. You know, my son actually told me uh, the other day that, you know, we he plays football and he's young, he's an uh, eighth grader and um, gonna be, I'm sorry, he's an eighth grader. And uh, he said, hey dad, maybe now, uh, you know, I could throw you some routes and you could do a little bit of running. So he was all excited about that. And uh, you know, that that uh, it just shows how, how bad off I am. The first image that he has is that I can't move. I can't do anything. All I can do is stand in one position and help him. Well, uh, I think he's kind of excited to maybe have his dad back and be able to help him, uh, you know, do some other training activities and work out with him and do some sporting things that are gonna get him, you know, going uh, in the direction he wants to go through, maybe playing some high school football or who knows. But um, just for, for him to see me that way, it uh, it's it's exciting and it reminds me, uh, you know, why I'm doing this. But um, I think the, the sadness was kind of, you know, hard for a little while. Um, I just, uh, I, I'm okay now. I'm in a much better space now. And I think I'm going from like, when will I be able to take a bite of something good again to like, I'm now kind of thinking like, when will I be able to stop wanting these things? And that's kind of more of my goal. Um, I've checked into some different support groups and I've checked into different things that, uh, you know, my, my uh, doctor, uh, the hospital I went through offers and um, the, I'm going to, I already signed up for one. So I'm going to go in and I think it's going to be a great idea to see what other people have gone through. Um, and you know what they felt after this first week out i'm really looking forward to uh you know another week from today i go see my doctor and then i start on the uh, pureed foods um which <laughs> sounds to me sounded horrible before um going in but now i'm actually pretty excited so we'll, we'll see how that goes but um i'm sure i'll find a few things that are gonna be uh enjoyable and help me uh you know stay on this this journey um, one other thing I will tell you guys is, uh, I don't know if it's normal or I'm on the right track or whatever, but I, I've lost 25 pounds in one week and, uh, it's kind of a trip. Every time I step on the scale, it's down another pound, it's down another two pounds. Uh, so that's, that's kind of encouraging right there. And I know that's, uh, crazy cause I mean, I could be done with my goal in like a month and a half, but <laughs> if I kept that pace up, but I know that's that's not gonna happen. I know it's gonna uh, level out and um, you know, this whole thing's gonna be, you know, a lot of hard work and um, you know, I'm gonna need the support from my friends and my family around me. So uh, I hope some of this uh, helped. And uh, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to uh, answer them and, and tell you what I went through. All right, thanks a lot.